politics and power. We discussed opinion on the previous program and I decided to get a little deeper into the discussion on this particular episode. There was one comment which I read which suggests that there are private and public opinions. And I would like to dispel the notion that any form of private opinion exists. If there is a private opinion, it exists in the head of the person who did not share it. But any time an opinion is given on a subject matter, it is a public affair. It is a public opinion and it cannot be said to be private. In fact, opinions are matters shared through different means. And as long as it is shared and it comes from the individual who shares it, it is no longer private. So, it cannot be said that opinions are private. However, there are institutions and organizations and agencies and parties and interest groups which conduct opinions and keep the information to themselves for their own private practice. And this is what I think the matter is. Public information being used for private consumption to the benefit and in the interest of those people who have collected this public opinion. I believe that when opinion is collected from the public, it should be shared with the public. It shouldn't be that one system, one agency, one party, one organization collects opinion from the public hugs the opinion in the benefit or to the benefit of a single group. What about the public which was so gracious in lending you their opinion? Don't you think they would need to know how the entire population thought vis-a-vis -vis how they did think? Well, as an opinion seeker and one who aspires and works towards being wiser and more educated, you can only depend on your community for such. And when my community shares its opinion with me, it is my remit to explain to the community what exactly was learnt from them. In this business, one cannot be selfish. As a professional, you are not a professional because you alone exist. One becomes trained, professional, quote-unquote, because the system embraces that individual and in some way or the other may have had a hand in your nurturing or your education. So woe be unto those who hold on to the knowledge that they were blessed with and starve those who might have assisted you along the way to get where you are today from the knowledge that you now have. I have repeated repeatedly said that I am a Dominica first professional and I shall do all I can to help to educate and motivate my people because an educated public is an informed public and is a public that is more responsible and more attuned to the times. My focus, however, happens to be on the younger members of our society. Because it is a good thing to teach the younger people about life and about ethics and logic and law and obedience and facts and opinions. We all should have our opinions, but facts should replace opinions which do not measure up to those facts. And that's a fact. It cannot be that people should think for you. You must think for yourself and let people know what you think. Because when they do, they respect you more. I can say so much more about public opinions. But there's that much one can do on a program like this. All I need to say at this juncture is thank you, my loving, genuine, and generous public, for sharing your opinion with us. That is how we all learn. Politics and Power.